Shalom, 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 people of God, people of Elohim, Yahweh, people of God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. This is your Messianic pastor, priest, and prophet uh, coming your way once again uh, to bring you word. As the heavens open up, I receive visions of God. The last time I was on this podcast, I did speak about... Uh, the consequences of attacking priests, pastors, prophets, and scribes, uh, and other, you know, people associated uh, with the service of uh, God. Um, I did uh, um, remind you that uh, <clears throat> while it's important for pastors, and priests, and prophets, and scribes, and by the way, scribes are, are just... Uh, uh, you know, theologians, people who are very conversant with, uh, you know, the Bible and other uh, religious uh, materials. Um, <clears throat> and that's one definition of a scribe. Another way to look at a scribe is uh, uh, in ancient Israel, there used to be the people that transcribed uh, official documents uh, in the temple, in the synagogue, even in the palace of the kings. They will uh, when the prophets will speak, uh, they will, you know, write those uh, words down. Uh, I guess uh, some of their um, eloquent, um, uh, you know, writings made their way into some of the, you know, Jewish uh, re religious books like the Tanakh, uh, the Mishnah, the Talmud, uh, the Bible, the Hebrew Bible, and so on and so forth. So in that uh, uh, podcast, I did... Uh, instruct that it's important for priests and the pastors and prophets to uh, demonstrate some finesse, uh, some tact, and some, um, you know, prudence, uh, and discretion, and diplomacy in the way they approached the people, because there was an incident in, in uh, Nigeria where uh, a, a pastor lost his job after a Sunday service because uh, yeah, he didn't demonstrate uh, enough, uh, you know, tact and discretion. Um, the story was that uh, he, uh, he, he didn't, you know, all shine the, the wife of the executive governor, her excellency, into the altar to receive her blessing. She didn't usher the, uh, the, uh, the governor's wife, you know, with her entourage. She ushered someone else in and, uh, um, which uh, put uh, the governor's wife in a very embarrassing, awkward position. If, if I was the priest there, that wouldn't have happened. Uh, it's, it's always good to uh, give respect, accord some respect uh, to people in authority. Um, you know, for the fact that the governor's wife left everything that was important uh, to her and left other churches that, you know, that was on, on, on the route of her, of her motorcade and came to your, to your church. It, it, that was uh, that was uh, important. That was something that was uh, legendary. And uh, at the very least, he should have uh, uh, been nice to her. He should have accorded her uh, the respect that she so rightly deserved by ushering her into the uh, into the altar and blessing her and releasing word over her life and that of her family. Um, and then uh, <clears throat> you know, there's always uh, two sides to the coin. I did also caution that uh, members of the congregation uh, must uh, also show love and uh, respect and uh, consideration to their pastor, to their priest, to their prophet, uh, to their apostles. So, but today God gave me uh, a new vision. You know, the heavens opened up and I began to receive a new vision of God last night. And uh, as it is, uh, you know, customary, I, I don't want to keep uh, the visions to myself i got to release uh, that prophetic vision over, over the lives of people watching this uh, podcast. Um, yeah, I'm going to be moving back and forth so that uh, you know, I can capture different angles of this uh, podcast. Uh, today, um, you know, God gave me a vision regarding gifts, uh, gifts and talents. Um, and this is something that has not been, uh, you know, widely... Um, you know, discussed among religious circles uh, because people have gifts. Uh, 
be, 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 in, the, in the Bible, it says every, every good and perfect gift comes from above. So, so there is nobody that is created in the image of God that has not been given some kind of gift. We have different gifts. Um, you know, you know, and I'm, we're going to look at certain, uh, you know, books of the Bible where those gifts have been, uh, you know, articulated by uh, different authors of the different, you know, Bible books. Um, so, so that's what I'm going to be discussing today, and uh, and I'm going to be discussing, um, you know, you know, different layers of gift. So, 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 so first of all, we're going to go to. Um, I want you to go with me to the book of. Uh, um, because I gotta read this from uh, from uh, <clears throat> from a laptop. I don't have the Bible here, but you know, thank goodness everything now is uh, you know in electronic form. So um, that doesn't make it any less uh, uh, prophetic or any less uh, divine or important. You know, just because I'm reading from a uh, from a uh, uh, some kind of a electronic uh, platform doesn't make this any less uh, important. So I'm gonna be reading from the Acts of a. Uh, uh, Acts chapter 16. Uh, I'm going to read, read from verse 16 um, to verse. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to read to verse 24, um, or even less than that. But I'm going to read from verse 16 uh, uh, of the Art Acts of uh, the Apostles. You know, Acts of the Apostles was a book um, written by an anonymous, uh, unnamed, unknown. Um, you know, individual. But, you know, from my vast, uh, you know, uh, research and excavation of the Acts, it seems to me that the person that wrote, wrote this part of the Acts was uh, a part of the entourage or part of the uh, missionary team of Apostle Paul um, shortly after uh, Jesus Christ ascended uh, into heaven. He, he left uh, in a commission or word for his, uh, for his apostles. And so, so their acts, all their actions, their exploits were captured in the acts of apostles, all the things they did, the miracles, because he released power uh, into their hands to, to, to heal the sick, to, to perform miracles and demonstrate signs and wonders. So the acts of the apostles, uh, you know, the, the, so their acts, the acts of the apostles, the apostles of Jesus Christ, uh, 11 of them this time because uh, Judas Iscariot already took his own life. So there were, there were originally 12 of them, and, and now um, there are 11 of them. So, so, so before God, uh, Jesus Christ ascended heaven, he released uh, a, prophetic, a prophetic commission uh, uh, into their hands to go and go out and change the world. So, so I'm going to be reading from uh, Acts of the Apostles, um, chapter 16, verse 16. Uh, once when we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a female slave who had a spirit by which she predicted the future. And this, uh, uh, um, this prophetic uh, vision that I was given, uh, you know, um, revolves around this female slave. Um, because God gave me a different vision about this encounter. And then I'm going to generalize it to uh, you know, you know your own circumstance because I'm going to release a prophetic word over your life after this. Uh, after I have uh, excavated and uh, explored the um, the synergy and and the, uh, the dynamics that occurred in a, uh, in in Paul's encounter with this uh, slave girl. Um, so 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 let me read the, the 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 second clause of verse 16. It says she earned that's a slave girl. She earned a great deal of money for her owners by fortune telling. She followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, these men are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be saved, telling you the way to salvation. She kept this up for many days. Finally, Paul became so annoyed that he turned around and said to the spirit, in the name of Jesus of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. At that moment, the spirit left her. Verse 19. When her owners realized that their hope of making money was gone, 
they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the market place to face the authorities. They brought them before the magistrates and said, these men are Jews and are throwing our city into an uproar by advocating customs unlawful for us Romans to accept or practice. So, so as you can see, uh, 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 as you can see from this narrative, there, there was somebody who traveled with Paul and Silas who uh, reported this encounter. Fortunately for that individual, he was not arrested like Paul and Silas and taken before the magistrate. So he had, he had opportunity to actually report this event. Now, um, let me uh, go back uh, to, to the uh, the, of course, I read from uh, the New International Version. So, so, le so let me go to um, le let me uh, let me take you to the King James Version of the same uh, account, and let us see what the author of the King, King James Version, um, uh, the, the way he articulated or he or she articulated this uh, same encounter, um, the, this same encounter that. Uh, you know, Paul, Silas, and others uh, witnessed. So let me uh, let me try to um, uh, open up uh, uh, this uh, uh, the software that is uh, in, in which we, we find this uh, this uh, uh, particular uh, narrative. <clears throat> so 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 if you look at uh, uh, the, because I read the, from the New International Version, but look at what King James Version uh, reports. Uh, 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 so in the same uh, Acts chapter 16, and I'm going to read from verse 16, it says, uh, this is King James Version, it says, And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel, you know, we, we usually call that damsel, you know, beautiful girl, damsel, possessed with a spirit of divination, met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. So I'm just going to stop right there. Uh, the, uh, uh, in the new international version uh, reported that uh, uh, she was a girl that had the spirit of uh, predicting the, the future of people, whereas the King James versions um, reported that uh, the damsel, uh, the damsel, was possessed with a spirit of divination. Now, spirit of divination is like an evil uh, and demonic occultic spirit in which uh, uh, somebody uses some supernatural powers uh, to foretell uh, you know uh, what the future holds for people um, so so let me let me go back uh, let me uh, try to go go back to um, the new international version because that's uh, that seems to me uh, to be the the, the version that uh, you know makes a lot of uh, uh, makes makes sense you know uh, as far as this uh, uh, <clears throat> this encounter is concerned uh, because I have had had uh, men of God and pastors uh, 